My name is William and this is Found in Japan and today we're talking about the Team Lab experience at Finiche Sakai. If you don't know, Team Lab is a company a group that holds illumination events and activities and they're all throughout Japan right now. Recently my family went to the one that I said was at Finiche Sakai which is a huge new amphitheater slash theater slash auditorium. Uh, it's located near the Sakai City Shiakusho and uh, the center of Sakai City. Uh, it's really beautiful, really nice. Uh, actually recently one of my friends uh, right before Christmas went to see the Tokyo Metropolitan Ballet perform Nutcracker there. Uh, they have tons of events. Uh, in fact, while we were there, there was a brass band jazz thing going on. Uh, I saw that there was going to be uh, some other singing and the music so definitely make sure to check it out if you're into the theater and that kind of performing arts when you're here. It was very easy to get there. It's located in the center of Sakai right next to Sakai City Hall near Sakai Higashi Station. So my family and I we went and it was actually the next to last day so I'm sorry if you want to go this event is over but they actually have events all over Japan. Uh, I'll have a link down below on where you can see what they've got going on. It was more fun than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've seen some other creators go to ones in Tokyo uh, especially around Christmas time but there's also one in Sakai at Nagai Park that I plan to go to and maybe we can get a video for that uh, later. So as we went in, uh, like I said, it was very beautiful. We walked up some steps. Uh, we had to pay to get tickets on the day. You could get tickets beforehand, but you had to get them at least 24 hours in advance. So we did on day, but the price was the same. So it wasn't really a problem. Spaces were limited though. So if you're looking to go for an event, make sure that you have adequate time to get tickets or that you can wait because there wasn't a lot to do around that area while we did wait. Tickets to get in for adults were 800 yen and it was 400 yen for my children who are all elementary and younger. I think uh, middle school and up, uh, Chuak up was $8 for this event. The different events all have different prices so make sure to check that out before you go. After we walked upstairs and we got to the waiting room, we had about 55 minutes in the event so we needed to wait outside while they cleaned everything and got everybody out. Uh, once we got in there was this really like dark hallway and I didn't realize how bright it was going to be when we got out or how dark it would be in that hallway. But uh, we entered the room and it was just lights and sounds everywhere. I instantly heard my kids going, ooh, ah. And to be honest, I was a little skeptical that this one room could be fun for close to an hour for my kids. And I was wrong. Very, very wrong. It was really nice. Uh, there was already some art on the main wall, the light wall, and then they were doing hopscotch color, like illuminated hopscotch, uh, skipping, jumping uh, off to the side. And it was great. Uh, the light was great. Uh, the music was great. I kind of wish, I told my wife several times, uh, I wish that we had gone before Christmas because I think it would have kind of made that Christmas feeling slash New Year's a little bit more special. Along the illuminated wall, you're actually able to interact with the art as it passed down the wall. So you see a fire truck, you see a house, you see some object that you like, you could touch it and it would have different animations. Uh, it was all really colorful and really cute. Uh, along the other side, like I said, they had the hopscotch and as you would jump down, the sounds would play, lights would change. And when you got to the end, there was this big uh, like celebration of light. Uh, also the wall was uh, touch censored so you could touch the wall and it would change butterflies and fish in different colors. Along one wall they had a whole bunch of different uh, pieces of paper, really hard cardstock, and on each one they had some art uh, like Santa Claus, some houses, some trucks, cars, util uh, utility vehicles, and what you could do is you could take one. I picked the Santa Claus one as my first one, as well as some of my kids. And we got to go to a table where they had cleaning supplies and some uh, oil pastels and we colored. And it was really nice. Uh, the music, the atmosphere, the lights, all the kids were coloring. Uh, you could do any color combination you wanted. Um, this right here is what I looked like when I was doing it. Uh, I like black, as you can tell. Uh, so I was wearing black on the day, so I drew a Santa with a black suit with a green hat and a blonde beard. 
uh, because you know I always wear my green Carhartt hat. Then what was really cool about it is you could take your art off to the side and there were some ladies that uh, were working there and next to them were looked like overhead projectors but actually what it would do is it would scan the art really quick and I guess through some like skin wrapping 3D rendering it would actually take it and put it on the wall and so we were able to have our art on the wall while we were there. Um, my kids are really happy to see a lot of their art up there and they could touch it and play with it and oh there's mom's picture and there's dad's and wow who did that picture or that character and it's really fun i thought we would do just one because what they would do is they'd scan it like i said and then they would wrap that one piece of paper up with a rubber band but uh yeah we we did a lot and uh it was it was really fun to do all the different designs uh who's going to do a house, who's going to do a fire truck, uh, who's just going to do a house with a, like a Doraemon or something. And it was unlimited. It was part of the fee. So uh, my kids got to color and have fun doing that, experience color and light. That was probably one of the coolest parts for me as an engineer, as someone who loves technology, that I was able to see a new type of tech being used to produce instant art. And uh, the children could feel like their art was being put on display and it was really nice. During the whole time there was actually a helicopter that was flying around and we could get a view from the helicopter looking down at all the art as it went around and that was also cool because you could get like an overhead view. Beside the hopscotch they had a hopscotch for geniuses where they actually talked about the process, development, what was going on and it was cool to read that uh, everything was multilingual. Uh, primarily I think I saw English Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Uh, at other events, they might have some other languages. Um, I don't know, I'll find out when I go to the one in the guy. After we did some coloring, we did some hopscotch, and then we did some more coloring, and then we did some more hopscotch, and my kids just had a blast. Uh, you know, before I knew it, we'd already been there 45 minutes. They had had tons of fun. They were getting tired. Uh, I don't know, I, I it was, beyond my expectation of their enjoyment. Finally, they warned us that we had about five minutes left and for everyone to finish up their art projects. Uh, I did that one with the Doraemon and Nobita's driving him and I was pointing at the wall like, oh, that's me. And my kids love trying to find the Doraemon character. If you don't know who Doraemon character, Doraemon is a, is a very famous character from a Japanese uh, manga and anime. Uh, it comes on weekly here, but uh, there's lots of movies and stuff. Finally, it was time to have one last hopscotch and a couple of my kids decided to do it together. Uh, they had fun and cheered and it was it was just fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you are able to go to a show and you like things like illumination, lights, uh, nature, and involvement with art, I definitely would suggest checking out a Team Lab event. I hope that I can join some more in the future. Like I said, the Nagai one. Uh, maybe when I can go to Tokyo, I will join one of the events there. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. And if you liked it, maybe you can like down below and comment uh, if you've ever been to a Team Lab event and which one was your favorite if you have been to a couple. Uh, I hope that YouTube will find a video for you right here that you can enjoy. And thank you again and see you for another video found in Japan. Mata ne. Boop.